Me a go party. Mia, go we got pits. stuff to do, dude. We got stuff to do, dog. Come on. Yeah. 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 So to catch you guys up to speed, we are exactly 15 minutes out from a phone call um, with Shelby America and uh, also some other pretty important people. I don't know, I'm dressed a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways at the current rate I'm not getting myself too excited here I'm trying not to at least but at this current rate it looks like we might be leaving tomorrow and flying to Vegas to tour the entire Shelby America facility and pick up a fucking super snake truck anyways we're gonna do a phone call and uh, I'll let you guys know how it goes I just realized that this is probably a little bit hard to follow so far because we haven't even started filming an intro or anything. We've got 15 minutes, so I'll talk to you guys real quick. But basically what happened was <laughs> I have been, for the longest time, I mean, since I first bought the race truck, the white Silverado that we've got, uh, I bought that truck with the intent of making a turbo street truck. It didn't get turboed, and we were going to do a Pro Charger just for the simple ease of install. Then the Pro Charger unfortunately got flooded. Then Holly came around, and we ended up working out a deal with them on a big nitrous setup and making it into a nitrous truck with Holly EFI, which has been awesome, kind of, except for the fact that it has quite literally taken two years to do. And so it's kind of gotten put on the back burner, but the reason why is because the truck, whenever we signed a deal with Holly, the deal was is that it was gonna be a track only truck, not a street truck, not anything. It would actually never be able to drive on the street again with the Holly sponsorship uh, in place. So that was kind of a downside of that. That really sucked. So whenever I first got the truck, again, that was my purpose was to drive it as much as possible and it just didn't work. So anyways, Ondi Gas is a company out of Texas. They ended up deciding they were interested in buying the race truck. They have at this point already sent a non-refundable $5,000 deposit to come pick the truck up. So that means the truck is sold at this point. With that being said, I made a tweet and I was talking for the last few weeks now, I've been talking about how I wanted to get an F-150. And the reason why is because it's a Coyote platform. It's super simple for the most part, and we're pretty well versed at this point in Coyote stuff. But this is interesting because this truck, uh, it's an all-wheel drive truck that weighs about the same as the Mustangs do, except for it's instead of a six-speed manual, it's got a 10-speed, the new God-tier 10-speed transmissions that have been in the Mustangs that you guys have been seeing, like stock motor and stock trans cars going eights at midnight performance. <laughs> They do some incredible stuff and they have really, really inspired me to want to get an F-150 over anything else. Um, I got tagged in a tweet with this, this truck. And anyways, we ended up calling and this is what happened. So I guess you guys do still have that truck in stock? I took a look and apparently one of my coworkers sold that one, but we do have another one. And so then we get off the phone and we find out that the original truck is not available. We're balancing things back and forth off of each other, trying to figure out. And then they show me another truck that they've got available, which is essentially the exact same truck, except for instead of black, it's white. The dealership that we had called, I was speaking to the manager. He made a few phone calls and now we've got a phone call with Shelby America and also the owner of that dealership, I believe. So I'm not sure what it's about, but the manager called back and was super excited and said, hey, if you guys are wanting to come pick up this truck and you guys are wanting to secure a deal, we've got you covered. We've got some pretty good stuff to offer. We'd like to get on a phone call with you in an hour from now. But essentially right now, it is just a normal Wednesday and um, we're now about to find out, I guess, if we're gonna fly out to Vegas tomorrow to go pick up a truck. And then we're gonna drive it back. And that's, that's I think, what I'm most excited for is the fact that we're not just gonna go pick up a truck, tour a facility and get it shipped home. We're making a really memorable experience out of this whole thing. And um, yeah, this is pretty fucking crazy. I don't even know. It's just, this is a really big thing. Every single day I wake up, I never know what the hell the day is going to bring. Hell yeah. <laughs> we'll let you know how this phone call goes. Out of respect for Shelby and their privacy, we're not going to include our phone call, but based on our reactions, it's pretty obvious that they had some pretty damn good ideas. Okay, that sounds perfect. Thank you so much. All right, thank you. Hell yeah. Well, that's, that's that. That's done. That's done. <laughs> what you got there, bud? My work briefcase. Are they gonna let you take that on? We will see. I have the football. You have the football? I have the football. I have the football. Oh, uh, you do have the football. That is definitely the football. We all hopping in? Damn. I'm going in head first. Sometimes you gotta take a dive. Step up and get her. 
we got to <laughs> what we got to stop, we stop for? right here really here we go again It's literally that's the, pollution. The rain is literally on the other side of the city. I don't know what that is in the city. The city. <laughs> don't worry, it's just pollution. All the the rain is going is north. About to pollute my fucking clothes in the back. Is what it's about to do. None of these cars are wet. None of them have their wipers on. What's up? First stop, Dallas. Next hey. stop, Vegas. We're just gonna carry all this up to the room. What? Yeah. Wait, say that again. Nah, bro. I put in the. Good job. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no shit. Yes. Wow. Oh, I know that them right there, they're fucking cracking up. They watched him come outside, say, hey, we're at the wrong hotel. We got to go down the road. And then he watched us make a circle in the parking lot and come literally to the fucking next door hotel. We're back approximately 60 feet from that way. Yeah, we were literally in front of this building. Now we're on the side of it going into this building. Let us go. Well, we made it to the hotel. This is night number one of a, what is this gonna be? Six days, seven days? Six, seven. Days. six days, six days, six days. Woo, holy shit. Woo! We've got to brainstorm quite a while in the hotel room tonight, so we're gonna get stocked up on some stuff. I don't think we're gonna sleep. Real quick, Probably not. I need to bring up the point. How many people out there understand that there are different types of water that taste very different. I hate people that don't think there's differences. Oh, I water. 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 That's a water absolutely tastes different. Yeah. There's no question. Yeah. People, some people though are like water is all water. water is all water, water tastes no. the same. Uh -huh. Not true. Oh. That was fing loud. Were you recording yeah, that? Yes I was. Good. Good. <laughs> I was just curious how loud it was inside of here. He's a man of science. A man of science. It is currently like 4.20 exactly in the morning, and I can speak for us all, we're really exhausted. It looks awesome. It does. We need to come out. It is cold. <laughs> it feels great. 50 degrees. It's snowy around here. I'm on the road, out here with the squad. Everybody trying to go. Yeah, the party jumping off. And we putting on a show. Trying to catch a vibe. We do this every time. Like, na 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 na. Feeling like I'm on the highway. Cause everything been going my way. And now they looking at me sideways. I'm like, no, 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 no. This is where I wanna be, no, no, no. Never ever gonna leave, no, no, no. You ain't in here for me. I'm like, no, 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 no. This is where I wanna stay, no, no, no. It feels really cool here. You know, it's really dry. It is also like nine in the morning. Yeah. It's warm for nine in the morning. We're gonna go find our rental car. You got the Chrysler? Yeah, bro, I'm gonna be able to sit down in that little thing right there and the little divot oh, yeah. hanging out the back with the camera. I forgot about that. That's the kind of the purpose that we got a minivan and why this whole entire trip was such a big deal. Why we're driving back is because this minivan has a sliding door on the side. So Andrew is gonna be able to hold the gimbal with like a $15,000 camera set up out of the side. Or if we wanted to, the cool thing is like he was saying, there's like a little 
what, do you, what would you even call that? There's a drop that he can There's sit in. There's a compartment. There's a hole that Andrew can place his ass and sit <laughs> and hold the gimbal out of the back. So for the duration of our trip home, we should have the most amazing B-roll and rollers for you guys. So should. should. This rental car alone, I think, costs about what one YouTube video makes right now. <laughs> nice. Uh, <laughs> we're off. We're about to go make a few pit stops, grab some food. We got to check into the hotel. We got to go get some clothes for tomorrow. And um, I guess plan everything else out. We've got a lot of stuff coming. So let's go. definitely looks like a place you would get in trouble. <laughs> like just looking around, I can definitely see why this city's got that thing to it. She push it up. If she wonder about my past, she can look it up. I got a big net work, but it's not Google. Got a small net worth, watch you quadruple. My father taught me a lot, that's how I got frugal. Spend a dollar and you got a lot of ramen noodles. It's loopholes in this game that you better learn. Get up early when it rains and you get a worm. That's literally like a world-renowned yeah. rule. There's a lot to look at. <laughs> there really is. This is quite literally like the only place that I've landed and got out, and it feels like you're just in a completely different environment. Like, like this I'm doesn't in a even feel country. like exactly. Let's say that it doesn't even Jesus. feel like it's Really? Oh, that's it right there? Oh, shit, that is it. Oh, what? Hell's Kitchen. I'm a big fan of This is fucking sick. like the craziest place I've ever been. Onward. Everywhere that you go, it's just like something new. Every corner. Oh, dude, this place looks ridiculous on camera. <laughs> I don't even know where to go. I'm so, so I don't belong. I think the reason that this is so insane to me is because I have never, ever in my life really been to stuff like this, big cities and stuff, until I was probably 19 or 20 like literally a year or two ago two years three years ago it's just so far from where we grew up in louisiana it's so different <laughs> This has quickly become expensive, but we're going to our room for the first time. We're on floor nine in Palace Tower. Ooh, 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 ooh. 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 Oh, I see hallways. Uh, ooh, hallways? Dude, the fucking view from this room is unreal. It is. I bet it's gonna look, look hella dope at night. This is just out. insane. Seven, eh? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can close it, dude. Gross. Why? <laughs> In case you want to look at it after you're done. Oh, <laughs> I don't think that's <laughs> why. <laughs> Danny boy. He's in the bed still like a flat face. Oh my god. Look at this big What's, what's good, Danny? What's up, Danny? 
What's up, man? It is day. And it is the day. <laughs> the day. It is the freaking day. Right. We were really tired, but um, it's time for us to leave the hotel room. We are headed to Shelby. Uh, we're going to the track first. I don't even know what they've got planned. We're going to go to the track. We're going to go tour the place after that. Um, and then we're going to finally see the truck for the first time. Literally the first time. I haven't even gotten any more pictures of it. I saw three pictures of it on a website and we've bought it. <laughs> like we haven't seen anything else other than a front, a back, and a side picture of the truck. That's it. So it's going to be cool. <sighs> I'm nervous. Bought an F-150 across the country. Sight unseen. Yeah. Oh, bad. That's fashionably late. One minute. Hold on now. You gotta ruin the experience. There it is. And we're off. <laughs> <laughs> Skirt. Wow. How you doing? Good. Hey, I'm Vince. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you. This is beautiful. So this yeah. is the first one that was produced? Yes. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yep. This is the first ever Shelby Super Snake Sport truck that they produced. And I'm about to ride with it to Speedway real quick. <laughs> We're gonna go do something that most people don't do. We're gonna take our truck out on the track. That sounds crazy. <laughs> <laughs> at Shelby American with Vince yet again you guys saw him last video we were out on the track testing out the first production truck right now we're going to pick up the last one pretty much that is for sale this is a 250 vehicle limited run and this is the one that we got that's how we bought this truck after seeing three pictures of it and that's it oh really yeah hadn't seen anything of it <laughs> you know the white black combination is such a nice look it really wow. is wow it just Makes all the lines look nice. It's a clean looking truck, but yet it's got sport written all over it. Yes. Holy cow. <laughs> so now you know it's potential. Shoosh. Yes, <laughs> that is exciting. Oh my God. So this, like I said, it's a limited run of trucks. There are 250 of these. The first one was sold and delivered to Post Malone. We're picking up the last one, and ironically, they're in the same color combination, the same white with the black stripes. This is the gentleman that developed this truck along with the majority of their vehicles out here. Can you tell us a little bit about it? What separates this from the F-150 that people see anywhere on the street? What is different about this So what we've truck? done, basically what we wanted to do is we wanted to give you style and we wanted to give you performance. Performance is always number one here at Shelby. So when you look at the truck, the first thing you see is you see styling. You see the nice hood, the nice grills, uh, a nice bar on the front, a splitter that goes along the front, a nice bumper cover over it. So that gives you a little bit of style. But you know what? Style is one thing. The most exciting part about it is the suspension. We run a coilover suspension in the front. We run a larger brake in the front, custom rims. We do a wheel tire package on it. Uh, we do a side exhaust on it, which is very exciting. Not a lot of trucks on the market right now are doing that. I wasn't even aware that it had coilovers on the front. Yes. That is very cool. Yeah, coilovers in the front. And then we do a uh, uh, we do a new spring pack in the back. We have a traction bar that's on there. Some Caltrax, um, I see. Yeah, Caltrax. So we call this our Super Snake Sport. We're trying to get into a, a market to where, you know, it was kind of dead for a while. The, the regular single cab, you know what I mean? Sport right. truck. A lot of guys tried a lot of stuff. 
Bunched Nobody up. really had anything that pushed through into that market and left a really, really big tone, except for the Lightning back in the day. And exactly. this is what, it, it, at least to me, this feels like a continuation of the Lightning, but even better. This is just the modern version of a Lightning, but slightly tweaked to make it even more of a performing truck. Yeah, we, do, we, do, a lot of, we do a lot of stuff. We do a lot of testing, you know, like we were talking earlier. You know, and that's, that's what's really important and that's what makes it work. We go out, we test it, we try different spring rates, we try different heights of the truck, we try different tires. When you put a combination all together, then right. we have fun. Right. <laughs> and so this is the part where you guys are gonna find a lot of interest is that this truck is not like the previous truck that you guys saw. This is actually a naturally aspirated truck still. There is no Whipple supercharger on this truck. And if you guys know this channel well enough, you'll probably find out why uh, we're getting a naturally aspirated truck, but more on that later. <laughs> <laughs> the important thing is you know how it's gonna handle when it's yes. done. Yes, Yeah, so you walk around the truck, you see the nice stripes run all the way through. Uh, we do custom bumper covers in the back. You don't have the notch out, you know what I mean? We made everything nice and smooth and clean. Um, we do a full leather interior. So we pull all the interiors out, do a nice leather interior. Another thing we do, I don't know if we're unlocked or not. Yeah. Another thing we do, we do oh uh, we do a carbon God. accent on everything. So the whole interior is done nice. You got your super wow. snake mats on the inside. So after the one you were in, this yes. is so much nicer, isn't no it? No kidding. That's what I was about to say. I am shocked. The truck that we rode in a minute ago, it was their first production truck. So that one is basically off of an XL platform, correct? Yes. This one is off of the XLT. Plus it's got a lot of trim upgrades on the interior that I was not even expecting. And this one has, what is that, the Sync 3? Yes, I believe it is. You, rather than the base model radio. So rather yeah, this one's got radio. quite a bit of upgrades. Yeah, so you see how nice the seat is, how nice the leather is. Everything holds you in really nice in the truck. Everything we try to do, we try to make it performance. Right. It's a street truck. We went out and had some fun with it on the oh, track. Yeah. You weren't sliding around in the seats at all. No. They held you in Extremely nice. Extremely well bolstered. Yeah, we put, a, we put a nice leather inside the center here to kind of hold you in, hold your back in a little bit. But yet it's a very comfortable truck. Everything is, uh, everything's all carpeted nice. You can put all your clothes, everything for going cross wow. country in here. So looking in the back of the truck, this is something else that separates this truck from most trucks is that there's no bed liner, there's no steel bed, there's no anything like that. You've actually got a nice carpet. So that way it's nice for storage. You can use the truck to travel. You can use it for anything. And that's one of the things that he was talking about that was so cool about this is riding in it. It feels like you're riding in a factory vehicle. It's quiet, it's smooth, it's predictable. Every part about this is usable. This doesn't even feel real, honestly, at all. <laughs> we don't have one thing left, right? Oh gosh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Wow, check it out. It is actually official now. We've been talking about it for the last probably week now and talking about how this feels surreal, but it is actually a real thing and we are here and it is, it is done. Cold start. <laughs> oh, smooth. This is gonna be a really cool build. I appreciate fun, everything, huh? definitely so. This it's is going good. to be a blast. How'd you guys like to check out the factory? We would love to. We <laughs> really, really would love to. We got a glimpse yesterday whenever we came up here to grab some shirts and stuff. Yeah. We got a glimpse, but I am so excited to dive in and see what all is there. Yeah, we'll go check out the nuts and bolts. Right now, we're in the middle of a, kind of a crossover. We're getting ready. We have uh, 400 trucks inbound and 200 Mustangs. Really? So we're changing up a few things the way that we do. So a couple things are moved around and stuff. It's a little messy, but okay. you know what? It's no problem. Pretty good. No problem at all. Yeah. We'll take what we can get. <laughs> all right, let's go check it out. Let's do it. Uh, <laughs> so what we got going here right now, you hear a little alarm going off. That's because somebody has been running a car. We have carbon monoxide suckers all the way through. This is mainly the truck department down at this end right here. And then we have the Mustangs at the other end. In uh, next week, actually in two weeks, it'll be, uh, from lift 19 down, so probably three quarters of this place will all be trucks. Wow. So this will turn into the truck build facility right okay. here. And then Mustangs will be built down farther. So while we're waiting right now, we have the 350s that we're building right now. So this is a signature edition oh, 350. Oh man. So it gets, the, it gets the carbon hood. It gets the uh, new suspension system. Like I say, we have a suspension system. I that like we this work classic with. touch right here. Yeah, huh? Our bringing it back classic. to the original, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. That is awesome. So this, uh, uh, we do a wheel and tire package on it. Uh, we painted the brakes on this one here. We do an exhaust system. We do a suspension upgrade, and then we do some engine upgrades, and then also we do a whole custom interior, all wow. leather interior in it. Wow. 
Yeah. Oh, that's the Recaros. Yeah. Is it uh -huh. See the signature in them now? And then we have the, uh, we do the uh, snakeskin style wow. on the inside. These are the exact Recaro seats that I have in my GT350, except for they've been redone by Shelby. And these are the nicest seats I think I've seen in a while. So this is a, uh, this is a standard 350 build. Now we're also doing the 500. So this is, uh, this is my, my test vehicle. We get, a, we get an early platform from Ford and we're able to go through it, try different suspension, different algorithms, um, you know, different engine upgrades, different coolers, those kind of things. So this is basically the test vehicle. So oh this is the first wide-body 500 we've done. This is number one right here. Ah, this so, is my sweet spot here. This is the this is the exact car that I think, in my opinion, is a perfect perfect Mustang that comes out of here. This is what it looks like in my. Thank opinion. you. Yeah, this is. Uh, uh, it's got our wow. uh, carbon fiber hood on it. The new quarter panels, new rockers, wheel and tire package, engine upgrades, suspension upgrade, exhaust. And then uh, look at the interior in this one. I think you'll like this one. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> then the Shelby roll bar in there. We got a roll bar. I put Shelby on it. And, you know, just a couple little touches, you know what I mean? We try to put a couple little things in there just to, you know, a little bit nicer. When yeah, you spend the a money, bit, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, when you take the time, you spend the money, and you want something nice, we like to put little things in there to really, you know, so you, you're special. So when you bring your quarter panel out, I can't really mess with the gas fill or anything like that, right. so I don't touch any of that. So to make it all work, I actually put it on a slider no when you open way. it up. So that way it doesn't hit the car when it opens. Wow. And then when you close it, you just close it like that, push it all the way until it stops. Wow. And it'll close in the center. Just some of the little things that you gotta do to make things work, you know? Right, yeah. Um, this is the test car for the Super Snake right now. If you got it underneath, you'd see it's all tubular control arms underneath. Okay. Uh, coil overs all the way around. Wow, um, and these like, are upgrades for this car. These are upgrades for this car, yeah. I didn't even know that. Yeah, so what this car is, this car here, my goal is the the 500 right now is probably the fastest production car that we build right, right. now. Right. Um, my goal is to make these cars as fast as a 500, and it's a tall order, okay. I can tell you. So anyway, yeah, we got a, we got a great team here. I mean, the team that builds these cars just does a great job. We do it just like they do at the factory. So these guys will all go through, They'll put a part on the car, they torque it, they mark it. Uh, then Tony will come through afterwards and he'll retorque it, check the torque on it, and do a second mark on it. So everything wow. that's been touched on these cars has all been marked and also documented. So oh, if, we wow. have a, if we have a problem with a car, we take the CSM number off of it or the mechanic that was on there, and we can go back and we can look at the chart and we can see yes that was tightened or no that looks like that might have got missed okay you know what i mean so we can go back and it, it kind of helps us for warranty and, and kind of keeping track of what's out there that's really reassuring for yeah. as a consumer for people who are looking at these vehicles that's really nice to hear actually i so, can see that you guys have really thought about every angle possible anything that there's no stone left unturned whenever it comes to the entire production process of these vehicles yeah. And that's the most impressive part to me so far. Yeah, like you think I say, through everything. Yeah, we're a, we're a big name, we're a little company, and we're a big family. Yes, you know what I mean. I can and see every that. everybody here is just uh, they put a hundred percent in everything they do, you know, if not even more than that. So it's it's pretty cool. Wow. So what this is here, this is a this is a Shelby one thousand. So when Carol when Carol was alive, his his thing was every year he would come out. He said we started out with five fifty horsepower, and then he wanted. 650, then he wanted 750, you know. His big dream was always to have a thousand horsepower. Um, so that's kind of in uh, 10 through 14, that's where the wide body came in. Uh, we started uh, developing the thousand horsepower car, which is actually 1300 horse, so a thousand to the ground. Um, we needed to get that power to the ground, so that's why we started running, you know, the, uh, the bigger rim, 245 tires in the back. How do, how do they do on a thousand wheel horsepower car? How does this thing handle? It's crazy. I've been doing testing for six months. I got it finished, everything like that. We actually had Carol come out to the track. We had a film crew with us. We got him out on the track, excited, finished the testing. He was just, he was so happy. And then about a week later, he got sick. So, and he never came back, but we yeah. were able to give him his thousand horsepower car. That which is, is awesome. Which is like, the most exciting thing and just I'm blessed that we were able to give him right in time. what he wanted you right know? In time. he wanted he wanted a thousand horsepower street legal I told him sorry Carol we can't do that but, <laughs> <laughs> so we take a look at something real quick over here this is due for 21 also our new scalloped windows with the Shelby embossed oh, in them. wow so that's kind of a kind of a new little neat touch 
I have not seen that. That is really cool. That is actually the glass. Oh, yeah. That is That's actually the window, the glass. Yeah. yeah. So some of the things we were talking about earlier, as far as uh, heat and everything like that, you can tell I run this car a little hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, a little bit. <laughs> so the hood, we're very excited about the hood. 2018, we finished up the design on the hood. Uh, the air actually comes in, hits the top of the supercharger, which has the intercooler up on top now, and then evacuates out. And then with the fender itself, it also helps bring some air out of here. So our underhood temperatures used to be around 200 degrees, if not more, on the track. Now we're eight degrees above ambient air temperature right now on the track. Which is truly impressive, especially out of a supercharged car. You know, we try to, we try to do minimal coolers, but some places we got to put more coolers right, on than others, right. you know what I mean? So Heat always automatics, leads to problems. Automatics are still a challenge. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? It's not the engine and everything like that. It's trying to keep the training cool. Right. Because everybody wants to shift it like a, uh, like it's a DCT, but yeah. it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it actually has fluid and it gets hot. Yep. So I just mentioned on the front tires, you can see I, I run this car pretty easy all the time. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of those cars that you start it up and she starts crying. Yeah. It's like, not again. <laughs> Please, no. <laughs> <laughs> so this is one of our latest creations here. This is the new F-250 diesel truck. Wow. So this is a uh, this is a Raptor on steroids right here. No kidding, huh? Yeah. Oh, what? Look at the suspension. Ted, yeah, take a look. Is this the one that you guys had actually jumped? Oh uh, yeah, it was a blue one that I jumped, but the same same exact setup. Really? Everything that we see inside of here is just mind blowing. <laughs> you can kind of see around the corner right here. It's kind of been hidden, but uh, the movie Ford versus Ferrari. Oh, this is the first. Yeah. This is a car for the first scene of the movie when Carol's on fire. Yeah. This is actually, okay. This is actually the car right here. Wow. <laughs> that is very cool. Kind of hidden in the corner. We had all the cars here from the movie uh, for a while. Yeah. And then they pretty much are spread all over the country, but uh, she's still hanging out with us. Wow. We have an area right here. Like I say, we're a little messy right now because we're moving everything around. Yeah, sure. This is pre-assembly area right here. So he'll put all the fender scoops in the fenders put all the front faces together, put the wings together. Everything that needs to be pre-assembled will be done in this area right here. So this is all pre-done. So when the guys grab their parts, all their painted parts, they've already been painted for two weeks. They're already color sanded and polished and they're already assembled. So when they get to wow. the line, they just grab a part and put it on. Start assembling, yeah. okay. Yeah, we try to get as much, uh, you know, as an assembly process as possible. This is the part that I was interested about. I knew that you guys would probably have some kind of leftovers from all of the cars that come through that are getting obviously the new hood. Yes, the new this gets wheels. cleaned out every week. So these every are- Every week? Yeah, every week we'll clean what? this out. So, so this is only a few days of- This is only a couple days here, yeah. So what this is, so Ooh. all the takeoff parts. The area back there in the back, that's my design center back there. We won't go back there. Sure. Because you have cameras. <laughs> no problem. No but problem. anyway, so the where the plastic fell right there, that's the uh, that's the uh, the clay room or foam oh, room, depending cool. on what I'm doing. The nice thing about what we do here is we're such a, sm a small company. Basically, we can come up with an idea, produce it in like three weeks to a month, and then go ahead and go out and test it. That is If we crazy. don't like it, we can change things. Everything right here in house. Yeah, under everything one right roof. Here, yeah, everything right here in house. So there's a lot of things. So now when it comes to manufacturing, I use a lot of different companies, you know, we send them the CAD and they'll manufacture the right. parts for us. But all the R&D and everything is all done in this building right here. That is very the, impressive. By the president and the vice president. I mean, we're the we're the guys that give the AMA. Yeah. So, you know, we, we want to be comfortable that the things that go out into the public are something that's right you know, over and above you it's know? awesome to see the pride that you take in a lot of the stuff too. <laughs> it's very, you know very and nice. every every part of the team is exactly the same way they're all 100 percent pride so over here wow. is uh this is our speed shop over in this area over here this is 850 to over a thousand horsepower in the back oh wow. so that's mainly our brown state builds is what that is we have this paint facility here we got two prep booths two paint booths and then we have a polish room, which is at uh, the bright room back there. Ah, okay. That's where they do all the polishing. And then uh, we also employ three other paint shops in the area also. Really? So yeah. And most of our most of our stuff we do, we try to use mom and pop shops for a lot of stuff, for manufacturing and stuff. Right. You know, we try to keep as much as we can here. Well, that's there are awesome. some things we have to send overseas, you know, just for cost restraints. Right. But other than that, we try to do everything in-house or, or, you know, as much in as the possible. U.S. as much right. as possible. That is awesome. Yeah. A we, lot of, I think that's a big misconception that a lot of people have about Shelby too, is they think that Shelby is a, a parts installer. They put on 
a bumper or they'll put on a hood and that I know irritates you because it is the same thing with me. It bothers me that people don't know how much really goes into these cars. It's, it's all about the education, you know yes, what I mean? I know. And you coming out here is great because we can, you know, together we can show everybody what's happening and right. they can see that, you know, things actually happen, things are tested, things are proven. Let's go ahead and walk around. We'll go ahead and look at R&D over here. So we have a uh, we have a small glass shop over here, so we can do glass or carbon. If we come up with a new product, uh, we can go ahead and prototype it, make it new, uh, try it on the car, see how it works. Another thing we do is you see the there's some fender molds, back quarter panel molds. So when you order a wide body kit from us, instead of us having a bunch of them in stock that have been sitting in the sun and all collapsed down, we build a brand new for you. Wow, so, when so you made order, to order. Yeah, made to order, oh, so it goes cool. out that way. So uh, we do some a little, people get a little freaked out. We send it to you right out of the mold. So we leave all the flash and everything on them. We do that because a lot of guys do custom cars. They like to do custom things. If you had just that much more on it, right. it would make it better. Yeah. So we leave it on there. Some guys freak out and they go, hey, you didn't trim it. Yeah. Well, we don't trim it because <laughs> if you're a car builder, you might want to use that. Right. You know what I mean? So it's just something a little different that we do. So we do, uh, this is our upholstery department right here. It's pretty small, but you know, there, there's two guys in there. They keep up with the whole operation. So uh, they pull all the stock, all the stock stuff off, and then put the Shelby, the Shelby stuff on it. Wow! So these are the 20 seats right here. Okay. And these are the 21 seats. Oh. See, it's got wow. like a hood of the Cobra on the sides. Oh, very cool. Is that cool? That you can see is... how nice that would hold you in. Yes. No kidding. Oh, I, I believe see. it's uh, lunchtime for them. It's yeah. Getting ready to be. Yeah. We start at uh, four in the morning. We work till 2.30 in the afternoon, four days a week. Really? Yeah. I, heard, I had heard mention about leaving at 3 o'clock and I had wondered when you guys started, but 4 a.m. 4 a.m. The reason we do that is if I have to work overtime and I have to work my guys overtime, I want to do it on Friday, not the weekend. I believe you should be home with your family on the weekend. You know what I mean? So That's actually not bad. Yeah, so you come in early in the morning, we get our work done, we're out of here Friday, we have overtime if we have to, you got the rest of the day. Plus you have the afternoons to do your stuff. Yeah. I mean, here in Vegas, it don't get dark till nine o'clock in the summertime. Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? You get true. out at 2.30, you got a whole day ahead of you. That is a good point. Yeah. I like and then that. that way, That's and then nice... every weekend you can go out, you can have a three day weekend every weekend if you want. Get yeah. your job done, away you go. I Tell like you, that. we're a family, man. Yeah. We take care of I each like other. That. that is really cool. <laughs> that is really, really cool. Hands down, those are awesome. Thank you. A little better than what they come stock, huh? No kidding. A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. So like I say, in, in a couple weeks, all the all the center benches will be gone, tables will be gone. Uh, then we then we go into our truck building where we have teams that go from each, you know, they put the bumpers, the suspension, everything all the way down, go all the way down, they do that. And then uh, the next team comes through and does their thing. By the time they get around, the truck's ready to come off. So it's going to be a really, really neat setup. The it's way a really do it. efficient setup that yeah. you guys are building here. Yeah, I, I really like that. That is awesome. Yeah, we're we're we were efficient for the size we were, but we're growing. Right. So we're getting bigger and bigger. So you have to bend and you have to change. You know yeah. what I mean? And we want to be we want to be ahead of the game. We don't ever want to be behind. Yeah. So we just try to make it better. But that's about it. That is amazing <laughs> I, I am honestly speechless at the entire operation here i can say for myself i did not know how much thought really goes into this it's that's mm -hmm. the most impressive thing good deal i'm glad you guys enjoyed it and i'm glad you came out and we're able to see how things were built and, and what we did too. and ride in the vehicles yes and see the outcome of the time that's put into them in the beginning so at the end you have something fun yes, to play with of course absolutely yeah. thank All you right, so man. much thank you this again. has been the most fun that i think we've had recording a video for a youtube channel <laughs> in a long time so good deal thank I'm you glad you guys came out with that being said that is a wrap pretty much for the tour of this place this is one of the coolest warehouses that we've ever had the chance to go through and there is a lot of very cool stuff that is coming from Shelby in 2022. This year at SEMA, we'll probably be covering a little bit more of that, but again, for now, that's all we'll talk about. Hey. Oh, here we go. Oh, wow. You know, this is like, I have not bought many vehicles brand new at all. And this is the last one that I would have ever expected to be buying brand new. It's a really cool thing. I'm not gonna lie to you. This whole entire experience has just been unreal. And I wanna say thank you so much to Shelby. Thank you so much to Bill Pierre Ford. So again, this is a brand new vehicle. Uh, one of the things that is 
kind of sad, but oh well, it'll make for a good road trip at least. But kind of sad is that this truck is brand new. We're gonna have to do a full break in on this truck. So we've got to wait 1500 miles, 1500 miles. We're gonna be behind the wheel of this truck before we can even do anything cool. <laughs> so uh, luckily we kind of set this up on purpose to be the perfect distance. We're actually traveling 1700 miles. So as soon as we get back home, first thing that we're gonna be doing on this truck is doing the break in change, getting everything swapped out, fluids replaced and getting ready to start ripping on this thing. So this is gonna be probably the coolest build, in my opinion, that we've ever done. The race truck was cool. It was a Silverado. That was kind of like my teenage dream truck. This is uh, the grown version of me about to fulfill some dreams for sure. I'm about forgetting, I really did. Anyway, really? Yeah, well, until you came you and saved the day. It is 4.30 a.m. We're going to the lobby. We're gonna to go to ballet, get our two vehicles, check out of the hotel, start shooting some rollers on the Vegas Strip. After we get done shooting rollers there, we're heading out, and this is going to be day one of our journey pretty much across the United States. So, lit! Andrew literally <laughs> opened the door and it looked like the Pixar lamp looked out of the f***ing door. <laughs> the camera literally just stuck out and looked around at us. <laughs> <laughs> So we've been driving now for probably a few hours. This gas station that we're about to stop at is the last stop before. What? <laughs> but anyways, this is the last stop before a very, 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 very long stretch of road. So we're gonna fill up. We got some extra gas cans in the back. Hey, we're gonna go. Sh <laughs> yeah. yeah, we do. Need everybody, to. everybody, gotta go number two. Yeah.
body style for just feeling absolutely free. You know what I mean? It's a single yeah. cab truck, windows down, and don't think about anything. You else. are right. That is like the best way to portray to you guys what this thing feels like on the street. You just feel free. You feel unstoppable. Look at that mountain out there, bro. It's still got snow on it. I've never seen anything like this. Bro, do you think Charlie Sheen could handle that many lines? Like, look how big those people are. Should we exit and try to get drone footage? Yeah, do it. Whoop! Yeah. Oh, what the f How did we just accidentally do this? We have a train. We we have some sort of oh, it's the warp truck. Worth doing anything with or not? Nah, if I park crooked in the road. This here is probably not legal. Wait, what did you say? I couldn't hear you. I said that is hard as. <laughs> hey, work truck, baby. What's up? The train's gone. Oh my God, that was fucking cool. The train's gone. That was oh, fucking cool. Train's gone. Whoa. Kids, remember. Only, only you. you. <laughs> <laughs> only you can prevent wildfires. This honestly does not even seem real. We were a few hundred miles into our trip with this truck. We're actually in the middle of Arizona currently. Literally sitting on the corner of old Route 66, Route 66, whatever. The front of this thing is getting pretty dirty. Covered in bugs, absolutely covered in bugs. And not only that, we're getting dust all over, but I honestly am not even upset about it one bit. This thing has been an absolute blast. I can't even explain what Arizona is like. This is my first time ever going to Arizona. Being in Arizona, it's just absolutely beautiful. We crested a hill, we saw a snow-capped mountain still. It feels just amazing outside. It, I, I don't know. It's a completely different feeling completely different landscape than anything we've ever seen having something like this and driving it across the country like what we're doing right now i just I, i've never done before and i wish i could even explain to you guys what this is like this is the most fun that i have had on a road trip to date it's just making me happier and happier with this truck and i cannot wait to show you guys the plans but anyways let's get back on the road picture a person's dream a writer starry night you're my Albuquerque, New Mexico, all the way back home in North Louisiana. So we've got like a 13 hour trip and um, we got like an hour and a half of sleep. So, oh, let me see how many miles that we've got to cover today. We're covering 900 miles today. 902 miles from where we're sitting right now to back home at the shop. Dude, I, <laughs> oh my God, I'm dead. Yeah, it's 6.59 a.m. We're about to head out from this gas station. 13 hours today. We're gonna knock this road trip out, get this thing back home. As soon as we get it back home, break-in will be completed, which means that we can do a break-in oil change. And finally, the truck will be ready to be beat on. So that's the only thing that I am keeping in my mind throughout all of this. This is gonna be worth it. <laughs> it's gonna be cool. The tidal wave crashing on the shore.
the thing. <laughs> oh my god. It is 12 12. I was telling Andrew earlier, I can count on two hands how many hours I've slept in five days. So we're gonna get everything unloaded. Um, I'm gonna take the truck home and we're just gonna pick up in the morning because I'm not really feeling it right now. Pretty damn exhausted. We woke up in New Mexico this morning. Yeah. We were in Vegas yesterday morning <laughs> at four o'clock. How did we literally cover the entire country in like 48 hours? We drove, what, 1,400 miles in... Four <laughs> Longer than that. More than that, because... Go check this out. Let me see how many miles this thing has. Mm -hmm. 15 and some change. Oh, Ooh. did we hit break-in? 1,573 miles, and break-in was at 1,500. Look at that. Yes, sir. You know what that means. What? Chaining the oil. <laughs> and getting ready. Yeah, dude. Doug has been busy while we were gone. Um... Actually, funny enough, while we've been gone the entire time, Doug has been working on the giveaway car, the FRS, and he's done quite a bit of stuff to it. But again, we're gonna check that out tomorrow. Woo! Oh, yeah.